okay so hi everyone uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am going to talk about how to run a bayesian regression model without doing so much coding so usually if you run a bayesian model you need to do a lot of coding through interfaces like jax or stan but now you have a package called brms which is a very user friendly uh, package because of that it will uh, avoid you to do lot of coding so uh, this brms package will use stand as its bayesian interface so uh, first what you need to do is you need to install this brms package so uh, since i have already installed this brms package before doing anything you need to first import this brms package so in this first tutorial i am going to show you how to run a logistic regression model using this bayesian framework to do that i am going to use this diabetes data set so this diabetes data set has nine variables with 768 observations and in my case i am going to use this outcome as my uh, predictor or my response variable so let's say that using this data i am going to predict this outcome using uh, two predictors which are which i am going to use as bmi and a blood pressure as my predictors so now i am going to fit a logistic regression model uh, in order to predict this outcome using those two predictors so to do that first you need to use this brm function so inside this brm function you need to write the model that you are going to uh, use so this is very straightforward like you did in using this either using uh, lm function or glm function first you need to specify your outcome variable then you you need to use this uh, tilde sign and then you need to specify the predictors that you are going to use so here i am going to use two predictors which are this bmi and blood pressure and then you need to specify your data set in my data set the name of my data set is diabetes and uh, another thing is that if you are familiar with this uh, glm function in r you uh, if you are going to use uh, a logistic regression model you need to specify the family as Bernoulli so you need to do the same thing here also if you are going to run a logistic regression model then you need to specify the family as Bernoulli and you are going to use logit link function because there are uh, other link functions also you can use for logistic regression but in, in this case i am going to use a logic link function then uh, if you are familiar with this bayesian regression models you need to specify a uh, priors for regression parameters uh, but uh, uh if you don't know any prior information for your parameters then you can assign a flat priors for this regression parameters this a flat prior means a uniform distribution for each and every parameter if that is the case you don't need to uh, assign any priors for this model and you can just run this code and uh, if you run this code using stand uh, unlike this classical uh, regression models it will take some time to compile the model so if you wait for like 
or two to three minutes depending on your uh, performance of your PC or your laptop then you will be able to run this code so actually it's better if you uh, name this um, model using uh, any name like this so for an example this is this model I'm going to name it as logis uh, m1 and then you can compile this model so after some times you can see that this model has ran for four iteration uh, for chains and each chain uh, was iterated up to uh, 2000 iterations so then if you didn't get any um, error message here then you are good to go and in order to get the summary of the model results you can just use this summary function like you use in classical GLM uh, function so if you run the summary function then you can see these estimates so here these estimates are the posterior mean estimates for each of these regression uh, parameters and it is it will also contain this standard errors and 95 percent a credible intervals and another information that you need to know like something like r hat bulk effective sample size tail effective sample size so on and let's say that you need to find the credible intervals for each and every model so let's say that you need to instead of calculating um, instead of calculating 95% credible interval you may need to calculate let's say 90% credible interval in that case what you need to do is you need to I am going to use this uh, package first you need to use this uh, package dp lyr then you can use this uh, pipeline operator to use this posterior interval function so this posterior interval function will be useful to calculate posterior credible interval so let's say i'm going to calculate 95 90 percent credible intervals then it would give you uh, this lower limit and upper limit of the 95 percent credible intervals and also if you need to get the posterior results because this posterior uh, Bayesian models you can store the results of the posterior distributions so in order to store the posterior uh, results you can create a new object like this and what you can do is you can you have to first specify your um, model and here you have to use this posterior samples so by doing like this you can store the posterior results or posterior distributions with respect to all parameters so let's say now you need to draw a histogram with respect to the posterior distribution um, of uh, this coefficients bmi then what you can do is you can call this object and using this dollar sign you can uh, assign this BMI variable and now you can draw a histogram like this for the so this this histogram will contain the posterior distribution for BMI variable or the regression coefficient with respect to BMI or else let's say that you need to find the uh, 
summary statistics uh, with respect to the post decay distribution of BMI then you can simply use this summary function with respect to this regression coefficient BMI like this then it will give you the uh, five number summary with respect to the post decay distribution uh, of this regression coefficient all right so now let's say that you don't need to use these flat priors for your regression coefficients so let's say that you need to use weekly informative uh, priors like normally distributed priors for each and every regression coefficient so in that case you can uh, modify this model like this so first I'm going to copy this model over here sorry so first I'm going to copy this model into here and now the only difference that I'm going to do is I'm going to assign uh, priors for this regression coefficients so to assign priors I am going to use this set prior function so inside this set prior function you need to specify the priors that you are going to assign so let's say I am going to use a normal distributed prior for each of the regression coefficient so in that case inside the parenthesis inside this double quotations you need to first type normal and then you need to specify uh, the mean and the standard deviation so since I am going to use this weekly uh, weekly informative priors I am going to give uh, a normal distributed prior with a uh, larger standard deviation like 10 or let's say it is 100 okay then I am going to assign these priors for each of the regression coefficient that means for each of this regression coefficient I am going to assign this a, a normal prior in order to do that you need to specify this class so here you need to specify the class equals B now if you run this model uh, you will see the results in a couple of minutes then you will see a, a Bayesian logistic regression model with respect to the weekly informative priors where are now these priors have a normal distribution with mean 0 and a standard deviation of 100 so after running this model you can simply use this summary function as I used before to get the summary results of this model so this is how you can use this weekly informative priors in your logistic regression model now I'm going to show you how to do some regularization like how to assign uh, a regularization prior like for an example a lasso regression prior so in order to do a lasso logistic regression what you need to do is you need to specify this prior as lasso so to do that what you need to do is um, you need to write lasso here inside parenthesis you can specify the decrease of freedom if you want let's say the decrease of freedom equal 1 then you need to assign this class equals to B and now you can run this model so if you run this model and after a couple of minutes uh, you will be able to get the results of this model so after some time you can see your model has compiled and it was executed without any error 
now if you use this summary function for this new model now you can see uh, the re how this regression coefficients looks like and if you if you compare this wi with your previous model uh, you can see that now this yet yeah, the regression coefficient of intercept has uh, shrinked so now it is only 3.59 where earlier it was around 3.66 so likewise it will do some shrinkage with respect to the regression coefficients so this is how you can use this uh, brms package very easily to run regression models so i hope this video is very useful to you and i will uh, come back with you uh, another new things that you can do using this brms pa package with respect to bcn models in future thank you